Right, I am back again. This time, no more lesson. We will just be carrying on where we got to the video before. So we're on roundabout. Roundabout? How does that work? This is 2D. Oh god, why are there two? Hang on, so I've got to get him to A1 and then he comes back. I assume... Am I right to assume this? That the two and three don't matter. What order? Why is there a boat down there? What's that gonna do? Anyway, right, let's see what we've got. I am thinking... All right, let's just see if he does a front flip and lands. He does, but he doesn't quite get up. And then second test then. Forward roll. Oh, okay, so he does actually land. That could be cool. I've just got to work out how... <laughs> right, final test. Because monster trucks are good at going up hills, right? Right, so hopefully I've made this proper strong now. So I'm hoping he's going to fall off, do a front flip, and then... Hopefully that's not too steep. So let's have a look. Forward roll, perfect. All fours. Oh, there's a gap. And they finally learned. The drivers in this game are finally reluctant to drive through holes. So that's too steep. Right, let's scrap this. Right, so I think I'm nearly there. I've basically got this bridge here, which disconnects at some point. So if we watch this, so I've got straightforward bridge across here and another truss here put a hydraulic in the middle and a joint on either end so this will detach and this comes down you can see it goes yellow and locks on so that's perfectly set so it drives along here <coughs> but oh he's got headlights that's cool so I'm just trying to work out now how I can lower this because obviously if I were to just do that, this whole section will be lowered, but only to halfway, which is no good to anyone. So I need to find a way of making these hydraulics go twice as far. Hmm. Or, hang on. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is perfectly symmetrical, which I think it is. If I make that a joint and that a joint, then hopefully, depending on various things, this should just drop straight down and land perfectly there. So let's just speed up. Oh, what happened there? Why has making those two joints changed that? Oh, I had a hydraulic, didn't I? Balls. I tell you what, I'm gonna do a single piece of steel. And I'm going to make sure that's connected to the one. Right, so all I care about now is this dropping straight down. And these joints catching it. Oh, I'm wondering if I can slow it down with a spring. <laughs> Let's try a spring that... Oh, it doesn't reach! There's no chance of this dropping straight down, is there? <laughs> oh, this is really annoying. Right, let's put that back in. So that will go halfway. I might change that one to a hydraulic and make it extend. Just so that this bit is out of the way, because otherwise I can see it crashing. So now I just need to get this back down to here again, which I was struggling with earlier. So let's think. All right, so essentially, if I do this, this bit of bridge is only going to get to halfway down. But I think the gap this end should be fine. So everything there is good. So that comes down, locks in. Or oh, is there a clever way of doing this that I'm not thinking about? Like if I were to make that shrink, but also, no, I don't think any of this is gonna work. Let's see how close that was actually. All right, so it comes off, it goes that way. Oh. All right, so how close is this? Oh, pretty close. If I turn the grid off, I think that should work, so... Ah, no, what button was that? So that was a bit high, so I think if I go that way, it'll be a bit lower. Wow. Ready, ready. So, disconnect. 
How close are we? How close? How close? How close? It's now we're too low. So where are we compared now? Oh, so we're just a little bit low. Wow. Come on. Oh, that was close. That was close. Right, this time. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Right, I'm going to scrap this idea. That ain't working. So let's try and think of some clever way. Okay, so rather than have a moving end on this side, I think I'm just gonna try. Right, so these are all spaced out. I don't think I'm gonna need those two triangles. I have no idea if that's true, but I've, I just have a feeling that it's, that should be plenty to hold these two up. I'll see if that works. Then I can probably make this quite a bit smaller. Let's try for now then, just to get under 20,000. Right, does that hold? I should probably turn on the stress thing. Oh, it made it all. Will it make this? Uh, yay! I don't know why I did it so fast with it 300 speed. Top 6%! Considering I struggled my ass off on that one, I'm quite pleased. What the hell is going on there? What? I... Is that just bits of road? I'm going to assume that's some kind of physics cheat thing. It's not a real life engineering scenario, that one, I don't think. <laughs> that's cool. Fair play for figuring that out. Alright, next one. Double decker highway. Oh, we got a big bridge and a big boat. A little boat. Alright, so we got a car that's got to get down there, a limo that's got to get over there, and a bus that's then got to get to the top. So, let's just go... Let's do curves. I think, I think, I think people like curves, so I'll do curves rather than my whatever I was doing. Someone also said in the comments there's a tool to fill. Oh, you genius, thank you person in comments who I cannot remember your name, I'm very sorry. Thank you for telling me about that. That's awesome. So they're completely equally spaced as well. Sweet. So I'm going to go underneath and then over the top. Right, so if we need I can use this support. Yes, I do need. Let's turn the stress back on. That's really useful. Let's turn the speed down for frig's sake. Okay, so that card absolutely bombs. I forgot how fast cars were. So I can't actually tell at this stage if the limo will make this bottom bend. So I'm going to use this again because that was awesome. Fill it with the road. See, I know what I'm doing. All right, this so car comes down, ends up over there. That's cool. All right, so limo, will it make this without grounding out? Yes. So that's really good. Now I've just got my bus. And what order does the bus go? So the bus does go third, so that's cool. Hmm. Phil! Okay, so now if I double trust that. Right, so we're all looking good. That's... Oh dear! Did the... Did that just break? Okay, so that actually broke. Which is a little bit annoying, but I can probably get around it by putting a support against that wall in. Alright, so let's have a look, it's going red again. No, oh, I broke again. Wondering if I bring these down a bit. I think essentially this is being crushed by all that weight. Oh, it did make it that time. So now this is a bit of a test. Firstly, can the bus make up the hill? Oh, it's gonna be tight. Hopefully it won't be another cup of tea moment. But he might ground out. Damn it! So let's just raise all of these up slightly. I'm just watching the budget go up though. Alright, hopefully that's not too steep. So let's turn off the stress. That looks pretty cool. So limo should be fine, just does he have the power? There's some fat kids on this bus. No! So that's too steep. Or is he still going? He's still trying. Alright, hopefully that's a bit better. 
Let's speed up a bit. Whap. Are we gonna get up? Go on bus, go on bus. Yes! So we made it. We're only five grand under budget though. <laughs> what is it with me? Is my game broken or am I literally that efficient? Another hundred percent. Where are we on these leaderboards? Come on, the suspense. Top 52. Shocking. So I might want to have a think about, is there a better way of doing this? Because we learned the other day in my engineering, is this thing any good at being an engineering tool? Is that roads weigh a lot? So we want to try and use as little road as possible. So at the moment I've got both these curving down, which adds up into quite a lot of pieces. So what I could do... It's now using a lot less road, which we know now weighs less. And what I could do is try and use this as a pillar. And we might want to just add a support under here. I'm just going to do one of those muscles for now. A steel muscle. Right, so for this, I think this is going to be a bit wibbly wobbly. Technical term, that is. Bring these ones in a bit. Right, so let's see what happens. So car absolutely creams it. Does he hit the flag? Yep. So this all starts failing from up here. So I think what I'll do, because this is kind of how normal bridges work. So you notice when I put these triangles in, I didn't change the orientation about the middle. Which was a bit silly because we're trying to get those forces to our anchor points. So obviously these ones, any weight down here is going back along that way and trying to get all the way across. So if I delete from halfway, which is about there, I guess, force. Hopefully that should make a little bit of difference. It just means not all the force is trying to go to this end where we're breaking. Oh, wow. Maybe if I just try making these two reinforced. See where we break next as well. So that one, I could probably I could either reinforce, but it might be an idea to put another brace in. So that might be a bit suspect now. I'm just gonna check actually. Do I need? No, I don't. So I think this side is completely cured just by putting this one brace in. And again, it's taking almost the whole weight of half the bridge straight down to this anchor point. Right, so then we should probably sort out this side because it's going to struggle. So I might do something similar in that. We'll do a muscle, then connect it up there as well. So we might be able to keep that one straight as well. So let's see how this works. So we're a lot cheaper than we were. We're only on 75. Ooh, they're about to burst. But it's looking okay. A little bit red. It's so just a few more supports on the end. Really helps take the weight off. So if this limo can get down. Come on. Come on. It's sorted. Beautiful. So where are we on that leaderboard? We've cut 10 grand off. Top 28. So much better. So I think I will just go through now. Have a look at the old piece. So a lot of these pieces, they're pretty green in there. So I might be able to get away with making some of these wood. All right, so if I want to make this wood then, I'm going to have to do a couple more road pieces, which I'm not a massive fan of, but I've just got to get these into the middle. So. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I've lowered this top road a bit, and I've replaced all of that with wood. Oh, so she's holding. Let's see what the stress is like with these two beasts. Oh! I'm gonna just even out some of these triangles. I'm still missing a bloody bit of truss in there. Right, so we'll see if that's any better for this side. Hmm, so remember learning actually that muscles are always cheaper. All right, so I might have sorted this end. It's not pretty, but it's not too bad. 
And once we're across this span, we'll try and sort this span up. So, oh, it's looking good. It's, we're in the 90s the whole time, but we're across. And now this last section, oh, again in the 90s, but we might make it. Bus made it. Limo. Come on. Come on. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. So we're 56 grand. So we should be a hell of a lot higher. So again, it's replacing the bits of steel we don't need with wood. It's in the top 6%. So I could probably go through and start replacing some of these with muscles because we know they're cheaper. Right, so this first span is fine then. I'm not going to go crazy because I'm not going for super rankings or anything. Alright, so I went through and we had a few little breaky pieces, which probably could be fixed by adding some more supports. But for now, I think it's just better to do some reinforced road. Um, so I've muscled up this end a bit, muscled up a few in the middle, and I've mega muscled with a steel muscle over this side. So we'll see how this goes and whether we're under budget. I think I was around 55 anyway, so all that work probably hasn't paid off, annoyingly. Uh, we're looking good. So the bus is up, a limo. He should make it. I think he made it all the other times. Yep, there we go. And was it worthwhile? Please say yes. Top 5%. Sweet. Right, so we're done for today. I spent far too long messing about on this bridge. But at least we're in the top 5, so that's good. 1300th. Right, cheers guys. I'll see you for the next few levels.